Good morning, everyone. Hey, thanks for joining me for today's devotion. You know, last week I posted, uh, deliver us from our distractions. So this is our, this is my rebuttal. <laughs> you know, when I did that, I was referring to our short attention span and how we're constantly bombarded by our media devices. Uh, it's like training our brains to have a 30 second attention span. Um, Lord, deliver us from these kind of distractions. But you know, now I got to thinking there's another type of distraction that we might um, like to be delivered from, but it is really in line with God's purposes. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of a task-oriented person. Uh, I like to have my sermon done by Thursday at the latest. You know, I like to produce something in, every, in any given day, even if it's just 10, page, 10 pages of type. You know, when I'm working on a sermon, you know, I have to get up early to do this so I'm not distracted. I could concentrate. And one day I was up early and I had to go to church to work because I had some books there I wanted to reference. So I was in my office at like 4.30 in the morning. I had two computer screens open on my desk. Um, my Bible was propped up there and I had this commentary open and my notepad and in walks old George. And, and he pops down on the couch. You know, he saw my light on and my truck out front. So he came in for a visit. <laughs> what you doing, he says. Um, I resisted the impulse to be a smart aleck and tell him something like, I'm rustling cows. What does it look like I'm doing? You know, as much as I wanted to, I resisted. And I just said, well, working on Sunday's message. And he said, oh, good, undeterred. And he starts visiting. <laughs> oh, man, I miss that old guy. He was so fun. He had such a great heart. At the time, though, I kind of resented his intrusion. You know, I wonder now, though, if God isn't, wasn't trying to tell me something. You know, what we think is important, producing our schedules, our deadlines, might actually be opposed to God's plan of building relationships and community and impacting the world. Um, you know, and this lasts for all eternity. I think it was Charles Spurgeon who said he believed every particle of dust that dances in the sunbeam is directed by God. You know, of course, he said it more eloquent than that, but what if that's true? You know, what if your latest computer meltdown is in accordance with God's providence? What if that old guy popping down on the couch, <laughs> interrupting my study, was really in accordance with his divine design? Guys, what if God is sovereign over all the dust mites, and he's also sovereign over my schedule? And he's Lord of the inter interruptions. What if instead of trying in vain to move through our tasks without interruptions, we look for God in the midst of them? Guys, now not all interruptions are created equal. And the latest news report that pops up on your phone is probably not something that needs your attention right now. You know, the latest weather alert from Atlanta is not something that should interrupt our thoughts. But sometimes we just need to turn off the junk and be attentive to the possibility that any potential interruption might be orchestrated by the creator of us all. These interruptions maybe are to build community and relationships, and they'll meet physical needs and glorify God. So we need to be aware of the fake distractions and attentive to the real God-ordained ones. Celebrate the distractions, even if they're at 4.30 in the morning, amen? For me, so don't freak out. Uh, so I don't freak out. I need to create margins. So I, I have so many things on my to-do list, there's no time to text a friend, no time to answer the phone or stop for coffee. But if we trust the sovereignty of God, we need to have enough margins for the divine interruptions. If the Lord's will, if the Lord wills, we'll do such and such. But send me divine interruptions, Lord. Please deliver me from the unholy distractions and fill my life with moments to share your love with the world around us that need you so, so desperately. Amen. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.